Hi, thanks for joining us for Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. Today we finish up our week of peace. Monday, peace with God. Wednesday, peace of God. And today, peace with others. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. And this fruit that, we, that the Spirit produces in us is mainly an outwork of how we now relate with others now that we are in God. In the summer of 2019, our church did a sermon series in the fruit of the Spirit. And on the fruit, on the topic of peace, our youth pastor, Drew Smith, preached and did awesome words. We're going to do, I'll hear a little bit from him for today's devotional. Merry Christmas. Peace is something you are. It's something you have in Christ. And it is something you and I must strive to produce. What is peace? You see, the difficulty is that the word peace in this context can have at least two meanings. On the one hand, it could be kind of an internal peace, as in somebody's got a sense of calm in the midst of life's anxieties and trials. And maybe you, you got a picture of kind of a Buddhist monk type character that, that comes to mind. That's one sense of peace, but then there's another one. Not internal, but external. Peace in our relations with other people, peace in the sense that we, we have harmony in our relations with others. They think of us as on their team. Now, I am just a lowly youth pastor, so if you were to ask me to adjudicate which one of those Paul meant, I'm not really your guy for that, but I am happy to read the scholars who do make these decisions for us, and they tend to think Paul means it in that second sense, that at least in this passage, his emphasis is not on internal peace, but peace in our relations with others. And in that sense, I think what Paul says here is much akin to what Jesus says in Matthew chapter five in the midst of the Sermon on the Mount. He says in verse nine, blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called sons of God. How do you know you're a son or daughter of God? You make peace. How do you know the Holy Spirit resides inside of you? You make peace. Peace, the fruit of peace, is the fruit of making peace in our relationships with others. So that's the first question. Now on to the second. How does one produce this glorious fruit of peace? And here, I'd like us to actually jump a little bit further ahead in the Sermon on the Mount to Matthew 5, verses 43 through 48. And Jesus says this. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends the rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward will you have? Don't even tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brother and sisters, what are you doing out of the ordinary don't even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect or be mature, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So here's the, the first observation. This is the first of three observations I'd like to make on this passage. Number one, Jesus calls us to love our enemies. And I, I hope you see how striking and radical and counterintuitive that is. The call not just to love your friends, not just to love those you get along with, or that neighbor that you just wave to and he waves back and you never have any beef with them. No, this is a call to love your enemy. Now the second observation, building on that is, if Christians are called to love their enemies then I believe Jesus is teaching the way we make peace with others is by loving them. And here's how I get there. What is an enemy? What, what does it mean to say someone is my enemy? And I, I think the answer is my enemy is the person I'm not at peace with. If person X is my enemy, I don't have peace between us. So in saying you are to love your enemy, Jesus, we could kind of spin Jesus' words to say this or, or interpret his words to say this. You are to love the one you're not at peace with. Why? To bring about peace between you. 